time as a player. <laughs> I don't even know, man. Fight o'clock, ask yeah. the fight guys, game it's time. Who? It's um, it's time. It is it's time. Something. All right, so this week. I threw all of them at you. You did. So something had not, to be Not right. so much enthusiasm, though. Yeah, well, you know. You... I'll I've practice. Learned, I've learned to give you a pass. Thank you. Yeah. Well, uh, let's talk about uh, the, the question that I want to ask is mm -hmm. right now, Deontay Wilder, I mean, not Deontay Wilder, uh, Tyson Fury and Anthony mm -hmm. Joshua mm -hmm. are the recognized world champions in heavyweight boxing. Yes. Of someone who does not have a championship right now, who do mm -hmm. you think will be the next fighter, the next heavyweight to be a world champion? Mm, good question. Yeah. So, I mean, I'll preface it by saying this. Right now, the top heavyweights, I think we've, we've been talking about them. Yes. I certainly think it's Tyson Fury, Anthony Joshua, Deontay Wilder. And, you know, after that, uh, I think that there are potential guys. Now, mm -hmm. it's not like it's a trick question, mm -hmm. but I will pose this scenario. If, so if someone would pose that question mm -hmm. and it was contingent on somebody beating one of those three guys, mm -hmm. I'd say nobody. Mm -hmm. But if it was contingent on two people fighting for a vacant title, right? And then you got Charles Martin fighting. Uh, give me somebody. Charles Martin fighting Dillian White. Okay. Well, I would then say I see Dillian White being the next heavyweight champion. Mm -hmm. In that in that scenario. Mm -hmm. Okay. Or so Alexander Usyk fighting anybody. But you know what I'm saying. So right. like what I'm saying is against the guys that are the champions right now, and I'm going to still hold Wilder in that, in that group. Mm -hmm. Okay. Nothing to be ashamed of losing when you're losing at that level. Mm -hmm. Okay. So those three, anyone fighting those three, I see nobody, but if belts start getting vacated or stripped mm -hmm. and then you're getting, look, Kaunaki lost. I thought he might've been somebody that was moving toward an opportunity. Mm hmm. I think Jermaine Franklin's too young. I'm not really sold on him. Mm -hmm. um, I think Usyk is not really a true heavyweight. Mm. It's, it's telling you what I feel. Mm. Okay? I think against the bigger guys, he doesn't have success. Mm. I think that Dillian White has shown that he could hang, that he might be that guy. Mm -hmm. Then you have guys like Dubois, maybe too young. Yeah, well, you know, uh, the WBO has Dubois number three overall. Okay. What I'm saying is I, I put it like two answers, mm -hmm. right? If it's against Wilder, Joshua, or Fury, I see nobody. If it's some of these guys, and, you know, because well, the, but the see, question was the asked about being a champion. We have well, four divisions. Yeah, Wait, four well, I'm not even saying that it has to happen sometime soon. Oh. So if your theory is that... But, those is it guys for a vacant gonna, title or is it against one of the top but, guys? But, but with what you know, mm -hmm. you can actually kind of predict mm -hmm. what might happen. So if you actually think, like you, we were saying a little bit earlier, right. that Joshua's going to end up getting stripped, yeah, then well, I think the WBO is probably who you're saying is would strip him. Right. But here's what I also know, because you and I saw this, mm -hmm. that on Wilder Fury 2, mm -hmm. Charles Martin became the mandatory in the IBF, right? Uh, yes. Well, well, after Pulev. Because right, Pulev, Pulev. Right. Okay. But let's just say that Joshua and Pulev fight. Mm -hmm. Now Charles M Martin's on deck. Right. Now let's say that Joshua is not going to circle back and, and fight. You know, let's say he goes and fights. And let's just say that that title becomes vacant. Who's well, behind why? Okay, why, why would that title become vacant if he just fulfilled his mandatory? Because let's say that he, let's say that he loses to whomever. Let's say Who? he loses Joshua. Let's say he loses to Fury. Okay. Or beats Fury. doesn't really matter. Right. And then they want to force him to fight the mandatory when he could go on to fight a much bigger fight. A rematch with Fury. Rematch or, or even finally a showdown with Wilder. I'm just saying there are cases which we've seen in boxing mm -hmm. where guys will then just really not go, especially at, 
his age and what earning potential he has ahead, you know, guys will just opt to vacate a belt mm-hmm. or, or get stripped because it's no longer about the belt. Mm-hmm. It's about just all about the money. So in the two scenarios, um, but, you know, I, I would say that we're going to see, I would say we'll see Dillian White with a belt. What, what is he in the WBC? Uh, in the WBC. See the mandatory? Um, he is the reg, the interim world heavyweight champion. Right. So he would be next up. Yeah. I think that, and I think we're going to see him fighting for a vacant title. It's just my guess. And you think he gets the, you think he wins? I think he wins. It's just, look, it's a guess. I I think that, I I don't think Usyk is going to be next. I don't think Charles Martin's, I mean, but like I said, if Charles Martin's fighting somebody for a vacant title, depends who he fights. Right. Um, Honestly, all of the people who I see Charles Martin possibly fighting for a vacant title, I think he loses to them. Okay. So, because he's he's right behind Kubrat Pulev and mm-hmm. IBF in the uh, IBF. So, if Pulev fights Joshua and loses, then he's mm-hmm. not. Even if the title is vacated, I don't know. I don't know if he would. I think he would drop. And they're not gonna. They, they, uh, yes, he will. But they're not. They're not gonna make Martin fight another eliminator. He already fought against Gerald Washington. He's no, the mandatory. What I'm saying is, if if the IBF title got vacated, yes, and but Pulev already lost to mm-hmm. Joshua. Mm-hmm. He would not be in the fight for the vacant title. Unless Joshua vacates it. Right. No, I'm saying if Joshua vacates IBF title after mm-hmm. he beats Pulev, mm-hmm. would Pulev be in the fight for the vacant no, title? Not no, not at all. Nope. Right. So it would be Charles Martin against Alexander Usyk. And I think Usyk beats Martin. Okay. So yeah. it really it just comes down to what belt could be vacated first. Is it going to be the WBC or the IBF? And who gets to fight? you know, a different level of opposition that gives them that, pa- I mean, it could be either one. It could be both. It could, it could happen close to the same time or it could not happen for a while. Yeah. I think that, um, I think that the, 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 my opinion for the next world champion yeah. is, is Alexander Usyk. Okay. I think he's going to be a world champion. Um, I think he's the next guy. Uh, I just, I don't know. Dillian White, I just don't believe in it. I just don't believe in it. I don't believe in the conditioning level. I don't believe in just the overall um, doing what he needs to get, doing what he needs to do to win a huge fight against a big time. Like if he does end up getting some sort of fight for a vacant title against Mm -hmm. somebody like, you know, like Charles Martin or something, you mm-hmm. know, he probably can get that done, even though I wouldn't necessarily say that's a gimme for him. Okay. Uh, it's, I think Charles Martin, Dillian White could be a good fight, to be honest. Yeah. Um, you know, um, so, but yeah, he, he I, I don't have him. I have Usyk it, is, the, is the guy that I have. If we were, if we were talking about a little bit more time, you know, down the road, uh, basically, we probably talking about three years for this guy, but I really liked what I saw from Jared Anderson. Uh, yeah, I, I, I mean, think, I yeah. think, man, he reminds me of a young Riddick Bow. Man, uh, he he really does like the way he moves. Yeah, I, you know, I he I don't he probably doesn't stick as hard as Riddick that because Riddick's right hand was so nasty and the jab was so disgusting, but athletically he's, he's only twenty. Yeah, he's, he's only 20. twenty years old. He just man. turned twenty. Man, dude, like I liked that what I saw of that kid. You know, I was at his first two fights. I mean, he's only fought four times. I mean, I've seen him in person twice. Yeah, and I've watched him train, and I mean, he's still growing. Man, he he might be, he might he might fill out to about two forty seven, two fifty. Yeah, gonna be a big guy. He's yeah, strong he's lower body, strong yes, lower body. I'm telling you, man, I I I like him. He he really reminded me of a Riddick bow kind of a, you know, yeah. with the, the movement and the jab, the length of his arms. That's, that's kind of who I saw, you know, a little Ronaldo snipes, but mostly Riddick bow, you know, and he was in camp with fury for the wilder fight. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And cause and fury raved about him. Yeah. You know, about how good he was, you know? So I, I like if I think he, uh, you know, obviously it's a heavyweight things can happen, but I think that he definitely has that, that you know, thing. We're, you know? We, we kind of we glossed over somebody. Who was that? The other big baby. Nah, no, he's not. He's not going to. No? No, I don't think so. 
I don't think so. Why? I just don't think Jarrell Miller is, is you know, Jarrell Miller is 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 a grinder, man. Like as big as he is, he's not like a, he's not a finishing type of a fighter. And I, he has a fantastic chin, though. You can hit that dude with a car. He's not going anywhere. But but he's in that competitive hunt with the other names. We he is. And the he, Usyk and the and Wyatt. I mean, he's a much better athlete than you would think when you look at his body type. Moves well. Has fast hands. You know, especially on the inside, he can put them together. Um, but I just don't think from a conditioning standpoint that he – I think against a long, talented guy who uses his jab effectively, mm -hmm. I think he loses like every time. Where's Joe Joyce at? I haven't heard his name. Joe Joyce is 10-0, and 0, I believe, uh, okay. still undefeated. I think yeah. they're being so, so super careful with that guy. Good fighter. Uh, yeah, I think they're like trying to wait out the rest of the UK heavyweights so he can like have his time or something. Mm -hmm. But, you know, um, yeah, I mean, fight. that's the thing about heavyweights, though. You can wait a little bit yeah. because, I mean, if they don't hit their stride stride until they're 35, that's still fine. Right. You know, so, you know, uh, but yeah, very, uh, very interesting. Uh, I, I, I can't just, remember I could... the last time I said the word interesting when talking <laughs> about the heavyweight division. So, Well, look, I, I could see, you know, the BKs and the Sean Singletary's right now in the chat room listing names. I'm sure BKs are all British heavyweights. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I, you know, I, I'm not sold on Tony Yoka at all. Um, I do think that Guido uh, Vianello yeah, he needs more time. He's he needs a lot more time. Yeah. But he's interesting. He's interesting. Because, yeah, but he's not going to be the next. No, 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 no. He if he wins a title in 2024, that will be about right. You yeah. know, you know, he he needs a lot of time. So but yeah, it's it's a some interesting little crop of guys coming up, man. I, I think we'll we'll see some good stuff. I mean, and obviously and there's and gonna I be really, somebody that comes out of nowhere. Look, I thought Kaunaki was on that path. I, I don't know if it was just a bad you didn't think so? No. Oh. Well, I mean, I just thought he had a bad night, but I mean I, I thought he had a bad night. I didn't or put it like this. I didn't expect him to lose to Robert Hellanius, but I didn't You like you you like Kaunaki. You, yeah, I like you know. Kaunaki. I but I didn't expect him to use lose to Robert Hellanius, right. but I didn't ever think that he was on the level where he could compete with the guys who are a champion right now. Mm -hmm. Like, I mean, Tyson Fury boxes circles around Kyle Nacky okay. and Deontay Wilder knocks him out. Yeah. Remember that's a whole, yeah. Remember I, I prefaced it by saying anyone that has to fight those guys. No, mm -hmm. but vacant titles. We're, I think, gonna, I, think he could new give, I think he could give Joshua a tough fight because of his style, but I think Joshua gets him too. Right. But yeah. Okay. I think he might hurt Joshua though. 